Hi, in this video we are going to talk how to localize a Swift package and how to use that localized package in your app. So the result looks something like this. Uh, this is a package and you can see it's localized. The text is high but you see Konnichiwa. And if you look on your app as well, you can see that it's also localized. I'm using the same view here that comes from the package. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so let's start uh, by creating a new Swift package. I'll name this uh, test package. And here are the initial uh, files that the package starts with. There is an initial file here, but you can, let's just ignore this for this video uh, since we want to do a swift UI view I'll select this one and I'll name it maybe some view now we can change this all to some view and the text to high so if we uh, try to resume this. We get this error saying that this stuff is only available iOS 13 or newer. So the, we have to support uh, iOS iOS 13 or newer. So I will do I'll do 15 since that's the newest one right now on Xcode 13. And now we go back to here and try to, let's try again. Okay, so the preview is working. You can see hi here. So let's localize this. So unfortunately, there is no strings option here uh, for the package. So we have to do this manually. So the first thing is creating a, a folder. You name this with the language that you want. So for English is en.lproj. And inside here, you have to put the strings file, but since there is no option, I would just put an empty one. And I will name this uh, localizable dot strings uh, I have another video talking about localization so you can check that if you don't understand this part so I'll create something localized here uh, maybe hi in English it will be hi so this is the format now, if I go back to the view and I change to our, our key, high, and build. Try again. Okay, okay so we got an error saying that you need to uh, do this default localization here. So Xcode already detected that you are trying to localize. So you need to do this. Let's do the auto completion. And then here, English. Okay, so now it works. I have high here and you. S no, it doesn't work yet. So usually this would work if you were not in a Swift package. But since this is a package, we need to specify that the bundle is module and not, not main. So module, if you do that, now it works. Hi. Okay, so let's do another language. I will do the... Uh, I will do Japanese. ja.proj and here maybe we can copy this 
<clears throat> instead of hi, we do the classic konnichiwa. <clears throat> now here, if we uh, set the environment local to local with identifier ja okay now you see that it, it, it's in japanese if i change back to english it's back to english so yeah this is how you localize uh, swift ui on a swift package next i will show you a little bit how to use this on on your app okay so now that we have our uh, the package ready let's uh, make our app name this test app okay let's resume this Okay, so for packages, uh, you can publish it in GitHub or something to download it from anywhere, but I will do it locally This uh, for this example. So one nice thing that you can do is get your, get your package and just drag and drop it here. Okay, so now you can edit your package at the same time as you edit your app which is pretty neat and you need to add it as a dependency as well so we go here test app frameworks libraries dependencies so you have the test package already here you can add it okay so by doing this now you have access i hope to test package and you can oh now it's complaining because our app is iOS 14 so let's change that and I think it's here somewhere iOS deployment tiger iOS 15 oh here the target was 14 so changes to iOS 15 now this should work okay so instead of a text I'll just use our uh, some view ah, okay so some view not in scope because here we made the package and some view is you have to make it public everything public public and you also have to make the initializer public uh, now if we go back here and try again Okay, now you can see uh, hi already. So let's try to see the localization. Local. Let's try Japanese and you see Konnichiwa. So yeah, now you have uh, your localized package in your app. It works in the preview, both in your app and from the package. So that's what that's it for this video. I hope it was useful and see you on the next one. Thanks.